guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to have a, I think this is going to be a pretty quick little video, but I have seen this like nonstop on YouTube, on Instagram, everywhere, and I wanted to try it ever since I saw it. It just took like forever for me to actually get it. But now that I got it, I'm so excited to share with y'all and see how it works and let y'all know my thoughts on it. And at the end of this, there is a giveaway. So I want to make sure to stay tuned and watch the whole thing to see how to enter it. I'm going to go ahead and do a little review, first impressions type thing on the Juno & Co microfiber velvet sponge. This has been everywhere. I hear it like it's just way better than the Beauty Blender and we're gonna go ahead and test it out and see how good it actually is. It's only six bucks, so we will see. Let's go ahead and jump on into the video. Okay, so we are using the Juno & Co microfiber velvet sponge. So this is how it comes actually like really cute packaging it's just like a little plastic baggie it's sealed and then you can see the sponge in here um, on the back of it it says if you're looking for a more natural airbrushed foundation finish the juno microfiber microfiber velvet sponge is your go-to made with velvet soft microfiber bristles and a slanted edge for controlled stippling the juno microfiber velvet sponge provides buildable coverage fast so that's pretty much it. I saw this like everywhere. I know Nikki Tutorials did a review on it. I've seen so many other YouTubers do a review on it and it looks like it's this amazing sponge that doesn't soak up any product, which I'm all for. I don't, I use the beauty spot, the beauty blender from time to time, but sometimes I just don't, I don't know. I just, I like using my brush a little bit more just because it does give me more coverage because the sponge usually does, um, soak up more of the product which is kind of annoying because then you have to use more product and then you run out of that some like you run out of it faster so i just like using a, um, a brush more often but when i heard of this i knew i wanted to try it and i actually ordered this like a month ago um it was supposed to come in way earlier than it did there was an issue with like my shipping address or some shit but they never even messaged me or emailed me and I had emailed them twice and that was just it was pretty annoying but I finally got it this this week so out of the package it looks like this it's just like a cute little blue sponge so it's just pretty much like a little egg and then it has this flat side right here the bottom is flat as well it's not like round all the way like it used um, like a beauty blender but I kind of like that and then there's like a little hole kind of thing at the bottom I'm not sure I assume that's supposed to be there but this is the shape of it it's pretty neat so to use this you use it pretty much just like any other uh, beauty blender or beauty sponge it says to wet it squeeze it and stipple it perfect for liquid foundations concealers and contouring you can use it wet or dry so it says for dry you dip it tap it pat it perfect for powder bronzers blush and highlights so we're gonna go ahead and wet this and then we're gonna try it out and see how well it blends out my foundation. All right, so I went ahead and wet it. Um, the size didn't really change. Like usually with a beauty, I want it, maybe it got a little bit bigger, but with the beauty blender, it starts out really small and once you wet it, it gets like really big, but I don't feel like this changed that much in size. So yeah, I already added my primer. I just used the hourglass um, veil primer as usual now i'm just going to go ahead and put my dior foundation now i am curious to see this is my favorite so um for the past few weeks since i got it and i'm curious to see because it is more um more of a lighter coverage so i'm curious to see if this beauty sponge will like make the coverage better or something i don't know go ahead and just zoom y'all in a little bit so you can see really close i'm just going to use the butt side of it um I just call this the butt, the bottom little flat part. So we're gonna go ahead and see how this goes. Okay, so first things first, it doesn't look like it is soaking up anything at all. Do you see that? No, the sponge does feel like damp, like any regular sponge would. Um, from the other videos that I've seen, they always say that after they wet it, um, it still feels like dry. So maybe I didn't squeeze it enough, but still, I can still feel it. It's like damp. 
It is um, a little bit harder than, you know, a regular beauty sponge. So I'm done with this side and I mean, y'all can see, right? I'm really hoping y'all can see this. Like, look at how flawless that just applied my foundation. And the coverage is like crazy. That is so cool. It definitely like does not suck up any of the, um, the product. I mean, if you can see that, like it, obviously it looks dirty and stuff, but it doesn't look like it's soaking up any of it. I feel like it's just sitting right there on the top. That is pretty neat. And it blended everything out like so nice and so smooth. My face looks pretty much like airbrushed. It's really, really nice. All right, so moving on to concealer. We're gonna go ahead and see how this works blending out the concealer. I'm assuming it's gonna be the same thing. But now I'm gonna be using the flat little side right here. Because I feel like that would be perfect just to go into those corners. So, let's see. And I just used my uh, Tarte Shape Tape. Alright, so, man. I, I'm looking in the monitor and I feel like I look really, really ghostly. But, anyway, so I went ahead... We're done blending out the under eyes and it is looking good. It's looking full coverage, smooth. It looks flawless and like airbrushed again. I mean, it looks, it looks really, really good. The only thing is now I do kind of feel like it, it, it feels dry. I know it's not dry, but it does feel dry. And the only thing that I noticed, it might have been just because it's the shape tape and I feel like that dries pretty quickly, but um, maybe because it's a little bit or it feels dry, it kind of, um, I don't know, maybe for things that dry down really quickly or stuff like that, it might, you might need to work like quickly with it or something. I'm not sure if y'all get what I'm trying to say, but I feel like um, it was a little bit more work to like blend out, like kind of just my forehead and I feel like maybe it was just because Again, it is a drying, it's like quickly drying, quick, quickly setting um, concealer. It might have been just that reason, because it did give me a little bit more work to blend out my forehead, and it was just like a little bit that I had there. So, yeah. Um, I don't really do cream contour, so I'm not even going to bother trying this out. I assume it's probably going to just be... You know what, never mind. We're gonna go ahead and do that. So let me get my cream contour that I do have and I'll be right back and we're gonna go ahead and see how this works with that. All right, so I got my um, cream contour on. I just used the Benefit Hula Quickie Contour Stick. My fave when I do actually use cream products. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just use this side, the round side, like it's on the opposite side of this flat side. We're gonna use this side. So go ahead and just blend that out and see how that works. So finished bronzing, blending all that out, and I want to say it looks really, really good. Sometimes when I use um, like a brush or even a beauty blender, I'm not sure why, but sometimes it like I use it on myself as well. I don't even really use um, cream products like for bronzing and that kind of stuff. When I do that with a brush or with a regular beauty sponge, I feel like it kind of takes away some of the product, like my foundation, so you can see like patchiness and you can see my skin. But with this, it blended out really nicely. It didn't take away any of the foundation or anything like that. The only thing is I did feel like I had to, um, I did feel like I had to um, take a little bit more time to blend out everything. I feel like it just was a little bit more work because I, I feel like because that, I feel like the reason for that is just because it does feel dry, even though it's not dry because I did wet it. Um, because it feels dry, I feel like it takes a little bit more work to blend it out than like a regular beauty sponge would have because I feel like the moisture kind of would have helped to blend it out, but maybe that's also why it would like take away some of the product underneath. So it looks really good, bronzed up, all that. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my 
makeup and I will come back and give you my final thoughts on these little microfiber sponges. All right, back and done with my makeup. I'm absolutely loving this makeup. I didn't film it, but if you do like it, I wanted to do something like really chocolatey on the eyes. It's like smoked out and then like a really like fall lip. This is what I got. So if you want to see a tutorial on this look, then leave a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. All right, so my final thoughts on this little guy right here. Um, I actually really do love this. One thing I do want to mention, um, and I know it's not the foundation because I use this so many times for the past few weeks, for the past month since I got it. Um, I felt like I didn't even need to set my makeup. I'm really super oily. So I always have to like set around here and I definitely need to set my um, under eyes just because I do crease. But I noticed that like when I use this and when I went to finish up my makeup and do everything else after the cream bronzer, I felt like it was already like set. I didn't feel like I needed to add any powder or anything like that. So I really didn't. The only thing I did was set my um, bronzer, but I thought that was pretty neat. Like I don't feel, I'm just gonna look in my mirror again, but. I feel like everything is set. I feel like it's not gonna move or anything. And I really wanna say it was because of this little thing. So I am pleasantly surprised with that. But yeah, so I absolutely love this thing. I think it does a great job of blending it out. And I really love the fact that it didn't soak up any of the product. Like you can see that it's um, just all like kind of sitting on top of there. I think it's going to be pretty easy to clean too. The same thing that you do with a regular beauty blender, just like soap and you know, kind of squeeze it, wash it, whatever. I really love this thing. I'm so glad I got it. It was only, how much? Let me see. It's only six bucks. So you cannot beat that price. A beauty blender is $20. So I love this. And because I, I figured out and knew right away that I would love this so much, I have a surprise. I'm gonna go ahead and give away two of these little beauty sponges, the, micro, the Juno & Co microfiber sponges. I'm gonna go ahead and give away two of these to two lucky winners. You just have to be subscribed to my channel and follow me on Instagram. And that's it. You'll be entered to win. And then I'm going to pick it, pick two winners by next Friday. So you have a week to do that. And that's pretty much it. So if you want to know the makeup details, I will go ahead and list that down below. So that wraps up this video. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.